What is up you guys, I'm Charmic. Today I'm going to be reacting to five terrifying images, videos, and mysteries uh, sent in by viewers by Top Fives. So this is going to be freaking, uh, hopefully, creepy. Uh, and uh, well, hopefully not too creepy. The last freaking creepy video I reacted to was from a Nuke Top Five. And that, my, that made my day so much worse. Like, I love Nuke Top Five, but when I react to them, I get into a state of paranoia where it's so bad and... <laughs> I hope this isn't going to be that creepy. Let's just say that. But with that being said, the original link's in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Top Fives. That link's in the description as well. And with that being said, let's begin. The Moving Curtain. This first one was sent in by Emily, a Sheffield University student from Manchester, UK. Emily was sitting at her desk, working in her student digs in Sheffield, when she saw out the corner of her eye something moving. On closer inspection, she realized it was a shadow from a curtain that appeared to be moving by itself. Of course, this is nothing unusual. Curtains often sway if a breeze catches them through the window. That's what I'm thinking, I'm like, is the window open? I mean, how is this mysterious? Mysterious? No, or from a nearby heat source. However, on this occasion, the window was shut, there was no wind, and it was moving independently from the other curtain. Also, Emily has confirmed the radiator was off. Take a look. That's weird, but I don't I don't know if it's anything paranormal. I don't know. Like what I don't know. It's worth pointing out that Emily has never experienced anything paranormal before, but her great grandfather had recently passed, and Emily convinced herself that it was him trying to make contact. However, two or three I don't know if that's anything paranormal. Out of all those things I've seen, this is like one of the least paranormal things I've seen, you know? Three nights after the curtain incident, something else happens that Emily- oh, Okay, just more than one thing? Okay, now we're talking. Now what else happened? Emily cannot explain. In fact, she isn't even sure whether it was a dream or whether she was awake. Although in her mind, she is certain she was awake. Emily woke up suddenly by a loud bang. Initially, she thought it was part of a dream, but then she heard it again and it was coming from the window, the same window where the curtain moved. It was the middle of the night, so Emily didn't manage to get any footage, although the next day she banged on the window herself to see if she could recreate the sound and seemed to match what she had heard the previous night. That's weird. Emily has tried to rationalize the two incidents, putting them down to wind, although there is a part of her that believes there was something else going on, and she has struggled to come to terms with it. The latest incident happened just before lockdown was announced in the UK, and Emily happily moved back to her family in Manchester and has not returned to it. Is she freaking bailed? Big since. It's obvious the two incidents really spooked Emily, and she felt compelled. Was this in a dorm or something, or was this like her house and she just like bailed and went back to live with her family? I don't get it. To send it into us to see what we thought of it. I don't know. I honestly we don't think no this is. I don't think this is like I've seen so many crazy things. I don't think this is that crazy, honestly. Now it's weird because if there if there if there is no window open, if the radiator is off, if there is no fan in the room, there's no reason for the thing to be moving back and forth like that. So that is odd. But I mean, out of all the the things I've seen, especially when it comes to like paranormal stuff, this definitely isn't like up there for me. I don't know if that makes What's sense. Although it does look like some unseen force is pulling on the curtain. We also did a little research on the area and found that Sheffield is a hotbed of paranormal activity. So whether it was Emily's great grandfather trying to make contact. I think they should have saved this one for later on because this one is very underwhelming for a paranormal. Although there was another force responsible, we can't say. I don't know. I don't think it was that paranormal to me. Caught in the bedroom. Austin was motivated to send in this video after watching a Top Fives video featuring digital voice recordings. The reason we chose to show it to you is because it's so random, and it's not a ghost hunter or anything, it's just a regular mum who was trying to get to the bottom of some strange occurrences that had been happening to her since losing some close relatives. This is the explanation Austin's mum gave about what had been happening. I'm afraid to use one of these boxes, honestly. I'm pretty afraid to use one of these boxes, because I'm afraid that I'll, I'll, I'll hear stuff. We lost both my mum and my grandpa due to sudden circumstances, and after their passing, our fan light would turn on by itself, and it made me wonder if they were visiting. That's odd. When we moved to Wisconsin, we lost my aunt, again before her time, 
and my fan light in our new home turned on shortly after she died. Zach, my son, was into ghost adventures at the time, and we had bought him a digital recorder. I think because he was running around trying to record ghosts, it may have stirred up the activity. So when my three-year-old was splashing in the tub, and I saw the recorder on the counter, I started to wonder if my aunt had visited me, and if maybe I could record her. I was scared though, because in church they tell you that ghosts are like the devil, and your loved ones are in heaven, even though I do not believe that. I thought, okay, I'm going to be safe, and just say these things, and then try to see if my aunt is here. My son was having fun with his water toys, and trying to chug the water out of them, and I got frustrated and said, I can't talk right now, and that is when the entity responded. The recording was made about nine years ago, and was uploaded- Whoa! Oh, oh frig off, I clicked- Oh, son of a gun. I just started clicking pause, I clicked at the beginning of the video. I was gonna say, nine years ago, this is how old this is, and you're deciding to upload this now? The recording was made about nine years ago, and was uploaded to Austin's YouTube channel in March 2011. Wow. Have a listen. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, nine years ago, I was thinking that was like 2009 or something. Or like, a, like a long time ago. But 2011, this doesn't seem like it's that long ago, honestly. There is a brief explanation written on the screen of where the strange voice was picked up. I believe that there's life after death. I believe in God. Is she just saying this with the kids in the bathtub? And I believe that there's more to what the Bible says and that there are times when our loved ones can come and visit us. She just saying this with the kids taking a bath? It's kind of odd. It does kind of sound as if there's something, but I don't know. It sounds kind of like not pareidolia, but it seems like it, it could just be you thinking that you're hearing something, but really you're just hearing like maybe a like a scratch on the desk, and your and your brain's kind of. Uh, transforming that into words or something like that, you know? This was not the only time Austin's man picked up voices. She captured other recordings, but after, she got really spooked after picking up a voice that repeatedly said, I'm gonna get you. She stopped and hasn't tried to contact anyone since. I don't blame her. Austin doesn't live in the house anymore, but his family still do. And to this day, strange things continue to happen to him and his family things that Austin has told us he finds too terrifying to elaborate on. So like they got like entities there messing with them. Well that sucks. As he fears a spirit may be attached to himself and his family. If this next one is true, then it's pretty damn scary. It was sent in to us by a viewer who wishes to remain anonymous. The clip was sent to him by one of his mum's friends, who claim her niece was home alone and in her bedroom, and kept hearing voices from under her bed. Oh, <laughs> my reaction there. That wasn't exaggerated or anything, but like I didn't have anything to say. I was just like, oh, <laughs> that'd be terrifying. Imagine hearing voices under your bed. Oh my goodness. Oh. So she started looking under her bed and around her room to see if she could see where the voices were coming from. Oh my goodness, that's the girl terrifying. Arguing as she searches her room. There was a person there. Was that thing that wasn't? I, I assume that wasn't there originally. In the recording, you can clearly see someone or something leering over the girl, although at the time she didn't notice it. Oh, that's that's ter that's crazy! Oh my goodness! Take a look. Look at I can't see. I'm really scared now. Get out! Oh, mm. <laughs> that's crazy! Oh, frig that, man! Oh, um, this is just a young kid at home by yourself. Oh, imagine, imagine like she plays that video back and then sees that while she's at home by herself. That you, I couldn't imagine. Like I'm getting goosebumps right now, but I couldn't imagine how terrifying. I'll be so bad. Is that the only time we see that thing though? Now you want to stop. What?
Now that looked creepy and wasn't seen until the footage was reviewed. To see that human- I don't think it's fake either, because her reaction, like the way she's acting doesn't seem- It seems way too real. It doesn't seem like they're putting on like a show or anything, you know? It seems like it's just normal. Human like presence looking over that young girl is very unsettling. <laughs> of course, it could just be a shadow or something. What the- A shadow on the roof? You know, shadows go downwards, you know? Because light is from up and the shadow would be down. That doesn't make any sense. That's not a shadow. That is not a shadow. So it's either one that someone's in the room with her, or two, someone's not in the room, but something is. And, uh, eh, that's terrifying. But the fact that the girl could hear. Th I would not, like, sleep in that room. I would not sleep in the room if I saw something like that. Like, nope. Things in a room. Nope. I was actively looking for something makes it even spookier. We haven't got any updates on the footage, and can only hope that the young girl is not being plagued by this presence. When Claved? What? One thing we do know is that the footage is genuine, and has not been doctored in any way. What's your thoughts on it? Uh, it seems like something is bothering her. Like, she's, she was even talking to it, saying, oh, now you stop talking. That's terrifying! Oh, hell no. Oh my goodness. Freak me, I can't. I can't. That was the worst out of all of them. That was the absolute worst out of all of them. The Graveyard Ghost. If you've ever walked around a graveyard, although they are often peaceful places, there is always an eeriness to them. Peaceful? <laughs> okay, yeah. I've been to graveyards. There's, there's always a weird vibe to them. Especially when you realize you are surrounded by bodies of those who have passed. For that reason, Probably some of the creepiest images ever captured on camera have been shot in graveyards. And that is where most people who are trying to see a ghost head for. And that is exactly what one of our viewers did. In the summer of 2007, Craig decided- 2007? Oh my goodness, that's so long ago. 13 years ago, wow. ...to go ghost hunting with his partner. He had just bought a new camera, and his dad suggested a good place to go would be St. Edna's Church situated in a small village called Summercourt, just outside of Newquay in Cornwall in the UK. It was also the place his great-great-grandparents were buried, so it would be good to try and locate their graves as well. Just after midnight, Craig and his partner entered the churchyard and walked around taking several photographs using the camera flash and night vision. After around 20 minutes, Is that midnight? found Craig's great-grandparents' grave, but realized there was a separate older graveyard next door, so made their way to that section. As they entered it, they both had a feeling of dread. This part of the graveyard was very overgrown and dark, and the sounds of crows circling above gave the whole area a very eerie feeling. Sounds terrifying. As Craig and his partner wandered around the old graves, snapping away with the camera, they made jokes about what they would do if they actually saw a ghost. Craig took three shots in succession of a particularly old gravestone, all using a flash. However, when he reviewed- Here we go, here we go, buckle in! ...photos, he was shocked at what showed up in the third one. It's worth pointing out that neither Craig or his partner smoke, so that part is unexplained. It's definitely odd. Craig showed his partner the image, and said, oh my god, I've actually got something. The pair were so terrified, they ran out of the graveyard and back to their car and locked the doors. After looking through the many photographs Craig took that night, they found others that contained bright orbs and strange lights. Although unfortunately, Craig could not locate those for us to show. The pair were left in no doubt that they weren't alone that night, and they never did find Craig's great-great-grandparents' grave. But perhaps they found something else instead. That's weird. So that's five terrifying images, videos, and- Okay, this one's not terrifying, though. Anyway, oh my goodness, I can't take these. Um, that last one there with the grave one, eh, like, I don't know, I, I, I get orbs in my videos flying around now and then, and it's not dust or anything. Like, sometimes you can see that it is dust, or sometimes you can see that it is, like, bugs, but then you have these weird orbs that fly around sometimes. Uh, those- I believe our entities, I don't know what they're doing, but you see them now and then. I haven't seen any in a while, though, so that's good. But, um, uh, yeah, so the, uh, the last, if that last one there is, uh, is not really that creepy. But, uh, I think the, the second last one with the girl, like, in her room, and there's, like, something talking under her bed. That is so terrifying. 
I hope that's fake. That would be if that's real. That's it doesn't because it looks real. It looks freaking real. I don't think it's edited. I. Uh, I'm done. I'm freaking done. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Top 5s. Go support Top 5s on Patreon if you can. That link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next time. Boop!